Curious what a big cup of chai or milk tea does to a diabetic's blood sugar levels? Let's find out. Hi, my name is Sampur and I have been living with type 2 diabetes for the past 9 years. With a disciplined diet and regular exercise, I have managed to stay off medication while still enjoying the simple joys of life like any other non-diabetic normal person, chai included. Today I am testing one big cup of chai with milk and sugar measuring about 16 fluid ounces or 450 milliliters. For today's experiment, I have prepared chai with whole milk and have added 2 teaspoons of refined sugar. And here is what this cup of chai of milk tea contains. Roughly 200 to 250 calories, the majority of which comes from carb and fat, about 91%. To break it down, this much tea packs about 55 grams of carbohydrates, including 48 grams of sugar, 8 grams of protein, 10 grams of fat, and zero fiber. In addition, it also contains smaller quantities of calcium, iron, potassium, and vitamin D. And of course, caffeine. And here is my CGM reading before having chai. 118 milligrams. Milk tea is woven into daily life of India. For most of us, the day doesn't begin without it. Chai fits every occasion. It's been a few hours since I had milk tea. And now, the moment of truth. Is it a go or a no-go? It took just 40 minutes for my sugar levels to climb 72 points and reach 190 mg. This is the biggest and fastest jump I have ever seen with any other food item so far. So needless to say, this spike is dangerous and I hate to say it, but chai with milk and sugar is a no-go for me.